Hi, I'm Paul Ricketts with the South Physics Observatory at the University of Utah, and we're going to talk about setting your telescope up in your backyard to do some backyard observing. So one of the first things that we want to talk about is making sure that the area you're using is safe. So one of the spots, at least in this yard, is here. So this is a spot where it's a little bit higher. You probably don't want to set up near this because it's an easy trip hazard in the middle of the night. Um, also, uh, trying to set up on something like this would be difficult, even just trying to fix your telescope up. So another spot is going to be like here, there's a small hole. Walking through this in the middle of the night, you could easily trip. Uh, you could fall, you could roll an ankle, you could sprain an ankle. Um, especially when carrying your equipment, if you're doing that at night, it can be kind of a, a hazard. Another spot is something like this. Tall grass can hide bumps and holes and also can be a trip hazard on their own. So you want to make sure you kind of mitigate this kind of thing before you uh, bring your telescope out and try setting it up. So these are just a few things that you, you want to look for um, just for trip hazards. That's kind of the only thing that you're going to be running into um, in your backyard at night. Uh, so other things you might be have a dog that will run between your legs when you're doing something. So just be aware of those things. So another thing you want to check out is when you're setting up, um, you probably want to start during the daytime just because it's easier to set up a lot of stuff during the day. Uh, that way you're not fumbling around in the dark and uh, maybe losing something or just forgetting about things. So one of the things that you can do to set up during the day, especially if you have a telescope that requires you pointing north, is initially try to find it with a compass, even though those aren't the best. They'll kind of give you an idea to, of where to set up. So here uh, we have north, and um, it's going to be right here on behind this tree. So what you can also do is come out during the nighttime when you can see the north star, kind of look around and see from the position that you want to set up. You look up, see where the North Star is relative to a landmark, like the top of the house, uh, a certain branch on this tree. Uh, there are some other trees in the background, other houses and light poles that you can use for landmarks just to do an alignment during the daytime. And that'll save you a lot of time for getting precise alignments to north with your mount. One thing about backyards is you want to look around and notice where there's excess light. So we have some coming off of these houses that are nearby. Some are a little bit brighter than what you can kind of tell here. So you can move around and you can see that there's a lot of reflections off of windows right now. A couple lights, a couple street lights in the distance, and other houses. So we do have one light right behind this tree. Uh, luckily in summertime, this tree is going to provide a lot of uh, shade from that. And so it's not going to be a big deal, but in winter we'll be able to see this kind of shining into us cons consistently. So at least for ground level, what we can do is we can put up some privacy screening along this six foot front fence right here. And that'll help provide a lot of uh, light blocking from at least our closest neighbors. Um, it won't do a hundred percent, but it'll also help at least at night when cars are driving by to keep some headlights from reaching our telescope. And a car came by right when I needed that to happen.